Las Vegas is a place where you are consciously aware of the last. Um, most people who came through that door, I will never see again. And that's fine. Um, that is true of most people all of us see every day. But it's... strange to realize. Um, the first person who I realized that was the case for was uh, my friend Al from back in my retail days. Uh, somehow we both ended up electricians, um, just completely separate part of the province, and I think that's amazing. And uh, I went for lunch with him in, in April before things started taking a a real bad turn um, and it was one of the greatest afternoons of, of my uh, cancer life uh, just catching up with someone who is important to you um, but then knowing with conclusively at the end that that's it for your in-person interaction uh, and thank the gods for the internet uh, for being able to preserve these friendships longer um, with relatively low effort because uh, still talk to Al. <laughs> Look forward to it all the time. Um, but uh, I didn't... It's not only people. Um, my favorite podcast in the world uh, is The Flophouse and I have listened to it religiously. It is uh, since I found it or first heard it in 2013 or 14. I was in Kitchener, and that's really all I remember. Um, and it's like I don't structure my day around it, but it's like I turn it on when I wake up on a Saturday, and it's like I make my breakfast and I eat. And about the time that that particular ritual is done episode is done and I can go about my day or go about my day it's not like it's a catastrophe if I don't get it I've had episodes build up <laughs> I spent I hospitalized in Mount Sinai for long enough that I had half a dozen uh, well between recovery and things I'm like it's not required but it's normal uh, they release their main episodes, like the main theme episodes, once every two weeks. And they released one yesterday. And today, I am reckoning with the fact that I think I heard my last episode. Maybe not. I don't have timelines. But there's a real good chance that's it. And um, to mark things in time, Garbage Pail Kids is a pretty good one to go out on. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, on the outside world, it could be your last episode too. Something could happen to you. You could lose interest. Like there's. A thing could always be your last, but you don't think about it in the same way. You don't, it's not a constant reminder. And it's fortunate uh, for me that um, these are healthy thoughts. Um, a thing I can celebrate uh, my time with this piece of culture that brought me so much joy. Um, knowing that, at least for now, uh, it gets to keep going, even though I don't, and uh, bring joy to everyone else. Uh, it is my favorite podcast, uh, but it is also one 
well chosen for this particular group of potential listeners. Uh, so, uh, Dan, Stu, and Elliot never see this, but thank you. You made my life better. <laughs> For a really, really long time. I almost made it through the day through 30 years. Almost. <laughs>